The majority of Zimbabwe's population lacks access to modern energy services, which severely limits their potential for economic and social development. Solar PV systems are a desirable alternative energy source and are objectively affordable, but still represent a fairly large upfront investment for the rural poor. Most solar companies have refrained from entering the rural market due to perceived high risk and transaction costs. SNV, under the Rural Solar Market Development Program, seeks to address the key constraints in the solar market value chain, such as cost and effective distribution models. Our main aim under the Rural Solar Market Development Project uh, is to increase access to uh, renewable energy uh, and also create meaningful self-employment opportunities. This project addresses the missing link of rural retailing and distribution of solar PV products in the solar value chain of rural Zimbabwe. It is doing so through working with solar companies, youths, agri-dealers and rural entrepreneurs. Our business focus was on Harare mainly because that's where we thought the market was. But when we started working with SNV, we saw that out, uh, out there in the rural areas there was a market um, where we could actually make money distributing solar products. Um, what we've been doing is we've been identifying youths in the rural areas and in some cases agro dealers who we then partner with or rather form synergies with where they in a way represent the Solar Shack brand but at the same time are working for themselves and are marketing our products out for a commission or in some cases for a salary um, level um, income. The youths have been linked to the solar companies with the view of entering into business relationships under which the youths were given additional training by the solar companies and were engaged as marketing agents for the solar companies in their communities. I stay here in Country Park whereby it's a peri urban area. Some of the houses don't have electricity. I get consignment from Jemwitz. I was linked by SNV and ILO and the Ministry of Youth. Jemwitz Enterprises has been working with the youth in terms of distribution of solar products as well as LED lighting products. And this has greatly assisted the business in terms of increasing our market share within their communities. As AMB Evolving Energies, we are also working with the youth from the rural and peri-urban areas. These youth, they are also assisting the company in distributing our products to their communities and also expanding our market. SNV has trained more than 360 youths in 10 selected districts in basic solar. We training made solar home systems, installations. solar lighting kit. to marketing area kwangu. and most of the people ndakava installer and ndakava solar lighting kit. solar home system solar battery inverter ni regulator yacho. Kwanza futi ku is utengesera vangu vangu ma lanterns. So right now same youth anga sina basa ranga chita. I am employed right now and that we ne basa ranga chita. Lay chuping am from ama solar panels up hand outside. So this is irregulator and I seven sayo. Then la ama patram I two. Eni le two ele two volt and then eni le two volt. Then e converter ang kona ele twenty four volt. So the system is power the whole house. I'm a light and then entertainment, the fridge. SNV also facilitated networking between agro-dealers and solar companies. We've also been working with uh, ADAS, which is the Agro-Dealers Association of Zimbabwe in Mashonaland West, where they've set up a warehouse and we are supplying the warehouse where in turn they will also supply to the agro-dealers in the area. Paris is not a bad thing. It is a company Green Dot. It is a product. It is a company that is already in the market. It is already in the shop. It is a company that is already in the market. It is a company that is already in the market. This um, lessens our operational cost because we then don't have to deal with each individual agro-dealer. But we deal with the association and then the association deals with the agro-dealer so that there is more distribution. In the Tinema agro-dealer is 115. Na ona mtambara. Profit yese. 
vanita sirinyo ni energy. We trend guma solar products sometime in May June e Rwanda, and e training le yasenza sivile inside of ogute ama solar products asivenza kanja. The challenge, however, is in the agro-dealer's financial capacity to order solar products in huge consignment due to objectively affordable yet fairly large upfront investment for solar products. We have engaged microfinance institutions and we are in, in discussions with them and they have seen uh, <clears throat> after our discussions and after the information about the market that we have shared with them, they have even participated uh, at our solar fairs and they have seen the kind of demand that is there for these solar products. And they are now in uh, agreement that this is a market that they can really tap into. The rural solar market development program is very exciting for Vol. It means that whereas previously there's been a focus on both urban and rural solutions, for the first time, uh, from our point of view and in our experience, the rural market has been prominenced. We are excited because it gives us a chance to structure products deliberately for that market, for domestic use, for institutional use, and for use on agricultural uh, schemes, irrigation schemes, which previously were marginalized, which means that yield, quality, for rural farmers, the smallholder farmer will be as competitive as any farmer, possibly on a commercial basis, anywhere else in Zimbabwe. SNV hosted solar fairs with one solar fair held per province. The major goal of the solar fairs is to increase awareness to the Zimbabwean public on the potential of solar PV. The solar fairs concept um, is a way of publicizing solar products to the public within the Zimbabwean context. And what we want to do is to, to take the solar fairs to the people, to the rural communities and to the peri-urban communities. The solar fair itself it came in as a very big surprise to the Kwanda community and it was well accepted and well received. The uptake in the rural areas is so much visible. Even in the mayor's office here we've got people who have been inquiring on whether there will there be any companies coming down to Kwanda to sell the products that were displayed at the solar fair. A lot of interest has developed in Guma Solar products. After IFE, we had the AMA orders, AMA Nenga, Kulo, Uti, Sechulega, Uti, Sit, Meet, E Demand. Another way that we've been uh, reaching out to the rural target markets is through solar fairs. We have seen that these solar fairs afford us the opportunity to interact with the target market in the rural areas, to know what kind of products they really want and to know the challenges that they go through in purchasing or in accessing um, green energy. As ANB, we have participated in solar fairs that were organized by SNV and these solar fairs, they have been so beneficial to us because we have managed to expand our, our market growth and there were, there were an opportunity for us to expand our products to the rural market where we were linking up with the agro dealers, the youth, as well as the customers that were coming in in those solar fairs. Through fostering business relationships between solar companies, agro-dealers and youth entrepreneurs, the prices of solar products in rural and peri-urban areas will go down and the products will be easily accessible. We feel the SNV um, project has been very, very beneficial to us um, and I think it's something that should continue as, as, as another side of the market that mainly us guys who deal out of um, towns and cities are afraid to explore, but with these linkages we get to see the benefits and the market, the wider market that is really ignored in the rural areas. Solar is the way to go now, whether in businesses, at homes, or uh, at our rural homes. I don't know how to do it, I solar system. Trivushandisa TV, decoder, nema lights. Tiakungo lighter, tiakungo ratitika sevanu varimu taunda, sitrimu maru. Every new building in Zimbabwe, whether it's in urban areas or in rural areas, my view is we should insist that it has a solar energy system as well.
the solar uh, market is a is a huge market. Actually, the study that was done has shown that it, it is actually a 67 million dollar market uh, that is going untapped. So this presents an opportunity for all the players, all the actors that are there along the solar PV value chain to come in and, and tap into this market. Mm -hmm.